Welcome to Physics with Mr. Brazil. And today we're going to do part two of chase problems. And so I have a question here where I have Mary traveling in her car at a constant velocity of 20 meters per second. And at a stoplight, John is at rest. Both John and Mary at the stoplight, as it turns green, keep moving on, Mary, and John starts to accelerate, let's say a constant acceleration. John catches Mary at 100 meters down the road. At what time, number one, does John and Mary meet at 100 meters? Two, what is John's acceleration? Three, what is John's final velocity? And four, at what time do John and Mary have the same velocity? And that's important. John and Mary having the same velocity is not at the same distance that they meet. John will be traveling much faster because he's accelerating, trying to catch up to her. So let's take a look at a position versus time graph and at a velocity versus time graph to kind of get an idea how things were working. And then let's go into the math. First of all, let's get into pen mode and I'll draw a position time graph. Position is on the y-axis. Okay. And time is on the x-axis. Mary, she's going along in a nice constant velocity and at some time t and I'm going to kind of ballpark where my 100 meters should be so that I can draw John's graph. So John and Mary, we'll make her this black, John is not a linear graph. Okay, Mary's just moving along. So the slope of that line for position time graph is her 20 meters per second. Okay, John is accelerating so he's going to have a parabolic graph where he's his velocity is changing as time progresses so when they meet at that 100 meters his velocity is very different than his position so let's draw the time or velocity time graph and i'm going to kind of try to make these the same kind of length here's time time again is seconds is the x-axis but in this case we're going to have velocity in meters per second okay and if we do this we're going to have mary at 20 meters per second and she's just moving along so that's just a constant velocity moving along as they progress now it's going to be slightly different so if i'm kind of make little dashes kind of I want to ballpark they're not at the same velocity they're gonna have the same velocity where if you look at the position velocity time graph where Mary's slope is kind of similar to a tangent slope on the curve here so somewhere kind of somewhere right about here more or less they're gonna have the same time that is where Mary and John share the same velocity. Okay. Mary down here is moving along at a constant velocity. John's velocity is increasing. So that shared velocity and shared time is different. So John's final velocity is going to be up here on the velocity time graph somewhere. And we're going to find out what that is. Okay. So let's move these graphs out of the way. So I got to kind of circle these guys up. Um, I'm going to grab here one of these handles, make it a little smaller, and move it over here to the side, okay? So we have that. So let's tackle the first problem and get into pen mode again. Okay, so here's our, here's our first problem, okay? What we do know is that John, uh, Mary is at a constant velocity, and we know that she's going to go 100 meters. So therefore, we can use her time for both of them to figure out what time they're going to be at the 100 meters. So in other words, if I go x final equals x initial plus Mary's velocity times time, one half a, but Mary does not have an acceleration, so that's zero. So in her case, delta x, the 100 meters, is going to be equal to her velocity times time. So t is going to be delta x over 
Mary's velocity. So we're going to have 100 meters divided by 20 meters per second. Okay, and that's going to give us 5 seconds. So they're going to be traveling, or they're going to travel for 5 seconds to reach that 100 meters. Okay, well, that's pretty straightforward. Let's now tackle number 2. Now that we know the time, we can now handle John in the same way. Since John's equation is going to go x final, okay, x initial, plus v initial John, which is 0. So that's going to drop plus 1 half a John t squared, okay? So solving for this, we're going to have delta x equals 1 half a John t squared. So John's acceleration is going to be twice the distance over t squared. So 2 times 100 meters. Divide that by 5.0 seconds squared. And we're going to have 8.0 meters per second squared. So John is accelerating at 8.0 meters per second. Well, now we can find John's final velocity. We take our kinematic equation, but this time we're going to go V final for John squared equals V initial for John squared, which fortunately is zero, plus two, the acceleration of John, and the distance that's going to be traveled, delta x. So let's uh, solve for that. So V final for John is going to be 2a John delta x, square that, equals 2 times 8.0 meters per second squared, 100 meters, square root that, and we're going to find that that is 40 meters per second. In other words, he is moving twice the distance, twice the velocity of Mary. So if I go up to the graphs, I'm going to put an arrow, that's going to be 40 meters Okay, and actually, I'm going to probably try to blow this up for you. I'm going to blow up the, the graph so that you can see something um, that I can hopefully address here. So I'm going to blow this up a little bit. Get out of that. If you look at this graph, and we were to shade the area underneath the velocity time graph, Mary here in black, I'm going to shade, I got to get my pen mode, sorry. Okay, I'm going to shade that. I'm going to shade Mary's. That area should be equal to John's. I'm going to put John's in pink, again, that pink purpley color. See, that triangle and the area of that rectangle should be the same, and that should give us the distance of 100 meters. So the velocity that Mary and John have at the same time will be a distance that's traveled pretty much equally also. So let's go tackle that. I'm going to also reduce this uh, graph so later on I can show you guys some more stuff. Let's move this over here to the corner. Okay. And get back to pen mode and black. Okay, let's tackle number four. So number four, here's the deal. I'm going to take uh, John's acceleration, and I know that John is going to have the same velocity as Mary. So his final velocity is equal to Mary's. His initial velocity is zero. Using a kinematic equation where we can go John's acceleration times time the same. So we're going to answer question four. We want to find out when do they have the same, at what time do they have the same velocity? Well, when they have the same velocity, it will be 
Mary's velocity divided by John's acceleration. So Mary, 20 meters per second. And John is going 8.0 meters per second squared. And what we're going to find, it's at 2.5 seconds. So at 2.5 seconds, going to the graphs, they're going to have the same time at the halfway point. So John at 100 meters will be traveling twice the speed as Mary. And at the same velocity, they're going to be at half the time. And that's pretty much these kinematic equations. They kind of go this route. And you can determine this. Okay, I'm going to kind of make this math all small so I can show you this. You can kind of determine this by putting the two distances the same. You kind of get that feel for that equation where they're going to double up. So check this out. We know that they're going to travel 100 meters. So the velocity, oops, let me go to pen mode again. We know that the velocity of Mary times time is going to be equal to the distance of John's acceleration, a squared John, t squared, okay? If we were to um, solve for John's acceleration, in this case, John's acceleration is going to be twice Mary's velocity, and we got time on the bottom, it's going to be half that time anyway, too. Oh, well, there's more to, to work out to show that, but you get a, a feel already for the math from the graphs, from uh, you just using basic kinematic equations, you can get a feel for where these chase problems go. Um, I hope this was helpful. Keep practicing physics. Pause this video. Do it again. Give it a shot. Don't give up.